Hi, this is Tia Irvin, and today I've got some wedding advice for you. That life-changing moment when he pops a question is one you'll never forget. You will always remember where you were, what you were doing, and who was there when he proposed and you said, yes. And with that single word, you instantly step into the shoes of a fiance with dreams of trading that title for the one of wife. But first, you have a wedding to plan and how smoothly the process of planning goes depends heavily on your approach from the onset. Most brides jump into their wedding planning feet first without fully understanding the wedding planning process. And I want to help you avoid mistakes that many before you have made because they got caught up in the excitement. A wedding certainly does not come with a shortage of decisions and the planning can quickly become overwhelming if you haven't thought through critical details before racing through the task. But having a clear vision for your wedding will position you for the best wedding planning experience possible. Visualize your wedding. Before you seriously invest too much energy in planning your wedding, it is important that you first take time to discuss your vision of what it should be. Talking with your hubby-to-be about the style of wedding you both want is important because while you have been dreaming about your wedding since childhood, it is very likely that he has not. So understanding where your views are similar and different will help you make better decisions later in the process. Your detailed conversations with one another will help define who, what, when, where, and the hows of your wedding. Like, who will you invite? Do you envision a celebration with just family and close friends? Or do you plan to dig up everyone from your past, even though you haven't spoken to them in five years? Will you invite coworkers? Will your parents have a say in who is invited? No matter how big or small the guest list, be selective in who you invite to share your big day. Extended invitation to people you know have your back and not just those who would be taking up a seat purely out of obligation. So let's look at the what, like what style of wedding do you want? Have you always dreamed of a big church wedding in the same place where your parents exchanged vows 30 years ago? Or perhaps you are a bit more adventurous and modern in your views and imagine a rooftop ceremony with the city skyline as your backdrop. Maybe your first date was at the beach and you can't imagine not feeling the crunch of sand between your toes when you exchange vows. Whatever look and feel you choose for your wedding, be sure it reflects your personal taste. And when would you like to get married? Do you have a favorite season or holiday? Is there a date with significance to your relationship? Maybe you desire to choose a date that is close to the one year anniversary of your engagement. Or maybe you've always wanted to be a June bride and wouldn't dare getting married in any other month. The main thing is to choose a date that you know will give you enough time to plan and pay for your wedding. Let's look at where. Where will you exchange vows and host a post-ceremony celebration? Location, location, location. It really is everything when it comes to hosting a wedding. Maybe you've always dreamed of getting married at a particular venue in your hometown, or perhaps a destination wedding spells serenity for you. Whether you plan for a celebration that is near or far, be sure to base your decision on which will make you feel the least stressed during the planning. Destination weddings sound good in theory, but if you are extremely hands-on and want to control the details of your big day, a destination wedding may not be for you. Let's look at how. How will you tell your story? Think about how you want others to experience your wedding and what it is you want them to remember most about it. Always approach your wedding planning from the guest perspective because you will do a better job of including details they will be sure to remember for the right reasons. Include foods, colors, and other elements that tap into the senses that allow guests to get to know you better as a couple. My wedding planning advice is to visualize and define your wedding early in the process. This will give you the clarity you need when decisions need to be made. It will protect you from the forces of well-intentioned family members, friends, and dare I say strangers, who will offer suggestions whether you want them or not. But stay true to who you are, to your vision, and to each other. Your wedding is your day, so do it up your way. Send me any questions or topics you would like to see addressed, 
See you next time.